So a new version of Blender came out, version 2.83, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Roblox thumbnails using Blender version 2.83. So what you want to do is open up Roblox Studio and go to base plate. So now that it's loaded, what you want to do is go to view, um, at the view tab at the top, and then go down to toolbox. Now whenever that loads, you want to go to plugins, and then type in load character plugin. So you want the free version, you do not need the um, one that you have to pay Robux for. This one works just like the other one. Um, so once you have that, open up your plugin. To open up your plugin, you go right next to the view tab, there's plugins, and left click. And then make sure it's clicked at spawn at origin. If it's not at spawn at origin, um, then you're going to have problems in Blender with your character not loading in. Now go ahead and hit spawn r6, but make sure you type in your username or the avatar's username you want to use. So let me just type mine in, and we're going to hit spawn r6. Alright, now that it is loaded in, what you want to do is go to explorer, and um, it should be highlighted. If it's not, just go down to workspace, and find your avatar, and what you want to do is you want to take off all accessories. So go down to head and remove the face and if you have any like face accessories on remove that but everything else uh, you can keep so next what you want to do is right click and then you want to hit export selection next what you want to do is save it to wherever i'm just going to save it to my desktop i'm just going to name this a uh, tutorial i can't even spell that all right so once that is um, once you have your file name typed in, what you want to do is hit save. Go ahead and exit out of Roblox Studio as you won't need it anymore. So when you're in Blender, it's going to show you this. Just go ahead and click away, and you want to you want to click that and hit X, and then um, it'll say OK, and just hit delete. Next, what you want to do is go to File. You want to go to Import, and you want to go to Import Wavefront.obj. Next, go to wherever you saved it to. Like I said, mine was at the desktop, so I go to there and I open it. Now, to get textures, what you want to do is make sure you are clicking on whatever you called it and go down. So, wait for it to load in, and then what you want to do is go to texture paint. Now, as you can see, my texture has loaded in. If it shows that pink, that means you are missing your texture pack which is your mtl file now if you're wondering how to move in blender i will leave the controls for windows um, either in the comments down below to be the pin comment or somewhere in the video next what you want to do is hit this tv shaped icon and hit ambient occlusion and hit bloom then go down to film and hit transparent that way your background is transparent then what you want to do is hit camera and you want to move the camera so to move the camera, what you want to do is hit the toggle the camera view by clicking this icon. And you want to hit shift and uh, the line I was talking about, which I will leave. And you just want to move it with WASD. Now make sure you have the view you want. If you wanted to move your character, like any arms or stuff, you should have done that in Roblox Studio. Um, I don't think I need to go over that since it's pretty simple. Now you can either use full body or the upper body which is what I'm going to choose. Then what you want to do is go up to camera um, over here and you want to hit that. Make sure it is highlighted orange and then hit render. Render is at the top. You hit render image and it'll render. Now it may take a few minutes to load in and that's okay. Just be patient and it will load in. All right, so once it's loaded in, go to image and hit save. Now go to the file you want to save it to. Once again, I'm going to do desktop. So I'm just going to type in a tutorial again. I name mine tutorial.render and then I'm going to hit save as image. Now make sure it did save. Mine saved right here. So make sure it's saved before clicking off a of blender. Next, what I want you guys to do is go to uh, pixlr.com. I will leave the link in the pinned comment. So you can either choose Pixlr X or Pixlr E, and I'm gonna choose Pixlr E. 
make sure you're on the create new tab and type in 1280 and then at the top and then at the bottom type in 720 because that is the YouTube thumbnail size. Now that it is loaded, you basically have a blank canvas. So what you do is go to a new tab and type in background. Now I like this background, so I'm just going to save the image. Now to open that image, what you want to do is go to layer and add images layer. Now what you want to do is hold shift so it doesn't mess up the image and just size it to that. Now it may get stretched out, so just uh, make sure it doesn't look too stretched out before actually doing anything further. Now to me this looks fine, so what I'm going to do is go to layer and then go to my render. Alright, so once that loads in, just go ahead and place it wherever you would like. Now I'm just going to place mine kind of onto this side because that's what I think will look better. Now go back to the tab or just make a new tab and type in Roblox um, face, whatever you want. I'm going to do happy face. Now make sure it is transparent, so type in transparent. Otherwise, you're going to have like a white background. Now, I like this face, so I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Now, just go ahead and go to Layer and Add Images Layer and find wherever you put it. Now, go ahead and place it wherever you like on the face. That is about even. Now, you can either add like a logo or whatever. You can also add text. Now, to add text, go all the way down and hit this. Make sure it's highlighted and just click. It'll say, do you want to add a new text later? Say, Add. Now it's going to come up with this, um, so just go ahead and hit backspace. Next, go ahead and place whatever text you want. I'm just going to say Blender 2.83. Now what you can do is change the color, and you can basically choose whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to choose a nice, um, I'm going to choose a nice black, I think. Alright, so whenever you have it, just go ahead and move it to where you want. Um, you can also move the size with this, just make sure it's not too big, otherwise it's going to make your thumbnail look very bad. Now if you want to outline, go to Styles and choose an outline. Now go ahead and choose the color you want. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a white because it's going to blend in too much. Now go ahead and choose your outline and that's basically all you guys do. You can also add like a background to it, which a background is this. I don't recommend it. It looks ugly in my opinion. Um, you can also change the size of it. You can go all the way up to 10. I like to keep it up to about uh, 3 or 4. That looks good to me. You can also do like a shadow um, and change the color of that as well. But once you're done, you go to File and you go to Save. Now for the quality, you can either do low, medium, or high. I recommend high. Um, you can name it if you want. I just, I'm just going to do Untitled and hit Download. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this was very helpful and I will see you guys next time. Built an empire of stars.